Geometric Series with Kelsey, Caitlin, Kyla, and Rhea. Addition of Numbers in Series, the ratio of consecutive terms is progression. In mathematics, my dearest friends, this is the definition of a geometric series. What do you notice about this poem? Well, yes, it does talk about mathematics, but what about the structure? In creative writing, poems like these are called syllabic poetry. Syllabic verses have a specific number of syllables per line. How about we try to get the number of syllables per line in this poem? We can see that line 1 has 3 syllables, line 2 has 6, line 3 has 12, and line 4 has 24. And when we put these numbers together, we create a sequence. Just a quick review. When we talk about sequences, we describe an ordered set of numbers or terms. We have four types, which would be the arithmetic sequence, the geometric sequence, the harmonic sequence, and the Fibonacci sequence. So now that we have a sequence, what type do you think it is? We can see that this sequence follows a geometric pattern. We know this because geometric sequences are progressions that have a common ratio between consecutive terms. We know that to get the ratio, we use this formula. R is equal to a sub n over a sub n minus 1. And we also know that the formula for a geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the ratio raised to n minus 1, where n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio. But do we ever talk about the sum of a sequence terms? Today, we discuss geometric series. Going back to the poem, we will notice that it is actually about the topic. Geometric series defined refers to the sum of a geometric sequence. For the finite series, we use the formula of s sub n is equal to a sub 1 quantity 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. But we have to remember that r should never be equal to 1. We also have the infinite series, but that's another lesson for another time. Let's have some practice problems. Using the sequence found in our poem, which is 3, 6, 12, and 24, let us find the sum or the geometric series. To do so, we must first get the ratio. As we know, the ratio is equal to a sub n over a sub n minus 1. So, in our example here, we must divide 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3, as we know, is equal to 2. Therefore, our ratio is equal to 2. Now that we know the ratio, let us try to solve for the sum. Let us pause the video first to see if you can solve it by your own. Do you have your answer? Let us see if we match. So what we do next is to solve for the exponent, which is 2 raised to 4, which now becomes 16. So looking at our formula, it will now become 3 quantity 1 minus 16 over 1 minus 2. Then we subtract. So our solution becomes 3 quantity negative 15 over negative 1. After we multiply 3 to negative 15 and we will get negative 45. Our solution will now become negative 45 over negative 1. And this will result to the sum of the first four terms which is 45. Let's move on to the next problem. The first three terms of the geometric sequence we have here is 8, 4, and 2, and we have to find the sum of the first nine terms. Let's pause for a while so you can try to solve for it. Okay, so just like the previous problems, we first have to get the ratio by dividing 4 and 8. As you can see, the ratio that we have is a decimal, 0.5. Now, we can plug it in to the formula, just like before. Remember to start first with the exponents, then the ones in the parentheses, and then you can begin to multiply and divide. When we plug in the values, we will get s sub 9 is equal to 8 quantity 1 minus 0 0.5 raised to 9 over 1 minus 0 0.5 when we raise the exponent of the ratio, we will get 8 quantity 1 minus 1.998 over 1 minus 0 
and when we subtract the values, it will become 8 quantity 0 0.998 over 0 0.5, which will then result to 7.984375 over 0 0.5. S sub 9 will then become 15.97. And that's how we get the sum of the first 9 terms in our problem. Let us proceed with the application problem. If you've had three snack breaks today and you plan on eating two times more each succeeding day, how many snack breaks will you have taken by the end of the week? So the common ratio is 2. The first term is 3. And what you need to look for is S sub 7. So plug in the numbers and you'll get this. S sub 7 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 2 raised to 7 over 1 minus 2. Solve for 2 raised to 7 and you'll get 128. You also need to subtract 1 with 2, so you'll get negative 1. Then subtract 1 with 128, and you'll get negative 127. Then multiply 3 with negative 127, and you'll get negative 381. So divide negative 381 with negative 1, and you'll get 381. So S sub 7 is equal to 381. Let's have a recap. Geometric sequences are a succession of terms with a common ratio, denoted by the formula r is equal to a sub n over a sub n minus 1. The formula for sequences is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Once we have a geometric sequence, we sometimes have to search for its sum. We call this the geometric series with the formula of s sub n equals a sub 1 quantity 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. Never forget to practice this topic in order to perfect it. Just know your formulas and never get mixed up with the terms used. Have fun, but never forget to be geometric serious about learning. Alright, and that's the end of it. We hope you've learned something from this educational informational video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Again, this is Geometric Series. This is Kelsey, Caitlin, Mikaela, and Ria, signing, signing off. off.